I will be transferring my entire Red Velvet Irene collection into a new binder. This is my old binder. It had all of my album photo cards and I had another binder that had non-album concept photo cards but I decided to try out this type of binder where the pages are sewn in and it's supposed to be really secure and like over time it won't get damaged hopefully. So um, this is completely empty but it has preset pages in it. I was kind of unsure if I wanted to use this binder because what I don't like about it is it doesn't show the back side of the cards because it's like sewn in pages and the back side is like a black cloth. But you'll see what I'm talking about once I get started. And these are side loading, so it's completely new to me. What I was talking about earlier was how the back sides will be completely blocked off, but at least it'll be double-sided storage. I'm going to see if I want to stick to this binder because of those reasons. So we'll see how it goes. It's kind of awkward holding this binder because it doesn't open all the way. So I'm kind of balancing it with one hand and then using another hand to load these photo cards. I actually, there's some non-album content photo cards or just cards in general. It's kind of bigger than the standard size photo card, so I don't know if it's going to fit in here or not. But if that's the case, I'm going to have to put it in my Irene Inclusions binder instead. And I'm leaving a space for cards I know I'm going to expect to put in here. I just realized I have other cards coming in, so I should leave some spaces back there, but I'll just worry about it later since I'm already here. So yeah, you could see the... It seems pretty secure, like nothing's gonna get inside once you close the zipper. But one thing is like if you need to add some cards in your older part of the collection, then you're gonna have to move every single card. You can't just remove some pages and kind of like scooch some cards over. Okay, that's RBB.
Okay, let's see if this fits. It's taller than the average card, so it may not fit in here. May or may not, let's see. So I have a sleeve that doesn't even fit the whole length of this. Oh, let's try without it. Oh, it barely fits in there, but it could break that at any moment. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if I want it in there or not. Hmm. I mean, I guess it fits. I'm gonna hope it doesn't break that page over there. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind and remove it. So I wouldn't want to bend the card too much. It looks like I'm almost finished with the pages. Like if there are gonna be more Red Velvet merch over the years, I may have to separate this again, even though I got this binder because it could hold more cards and it's better for storage. But I have like four more piles left and I only have a few more pages than this. And um, I'm not a fan of the bigger size of this binder because it's like four by four, I think. It's just too bulky. So I might just get two nine pocket type binders with the whole side loader pages. Actually, I may be expecting more Seasons Greetings, maybe, so I'm just gonna go to the next page. Still getting used to these side-loading pockets. I think I'm expecting one more.
I'm expecting an SMCU Palace card, so I'm gonna skip this one. space filler. Here's another one that I'm unsure of if it's going to fit. Oh, it's just like the season's greetings card. So it's like barely fitting there. Really hope that that won't damage it. Then we have these gift cards. So I'll put this instead next. These Clinique ones are really nice. I um, purposely didn't get the bigger size Clinique cards because I just prefer collecting standard size photo cards for the most part. I will get big inclusions. But, um, it's just it just wasn't on the priority. As beautiful as they were. So yeah, I love to see other people have those cards, but for me, I'm okay with not having all of the larger Clinique photo cards. That's my Irene photo card collection for now. I'll do a flip through and then I guess I could show my other binder with all the inclusions. Um, to be honest, I might not even keep this binder. I might just go back to the old style that I had, but I just wanted to try it out and see. Honestly, I don't know. I don't see much of a difference other than you're loading both sides and I guess the pages are sewn in. Or I guess it's supposed to be like this. It's just really weird. I don't like how it bends like that. But um, other than my first impressions on this type of binder, I'll go ahead and flip through my entire collection. This is maybe the only time you'll see this binder. I'm like half half on this but I do think it stores it beautifully. Like it, there's no like clutter of a logo on the side and there's no three ring in the way, but I don't know how I feel about the way the binder opens because you have to really push it down. But we'll see how I like it. And personally for me, I like seeing the back sides of photo cards. So when I flip it, I just see the front side and what makes the back side special is you could see like the signature or where the card came from. It's not like playing cards like Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards where most of the time the backs just look the same. It's like standardized. But I do think the presentation is very beautiful. Um, I guess there's a glare. 
Sorry if there's a glare. Let me do this again without the glare. So I like it. it's very organized, but um, I did like the option of being able to customize the pages in between and showing like bigger inclusions, not just all photo cards. But I do admit it does look very organized and clean. Now we're down to the non-album content photo cards. And that's it. I actually only had one, two, three, four, five pages left. So definitely won't hold my whole collection over time. If I do stick with this binder, I'm going to have to get two separate binders because I do not like the 12 pocket page binders in this brand or like brand similar to this. So if you see, that's how it closes. It doesn't close all the way because there's no binding, I guess. So you have to zip it up. I may add more stickers over time or I may get another binder. Maybe I'll grow to like it. But this is it. And my old binder... I didn't want to part with this binder because it's so cute. It has like some of my favorite Animal Crossing characters like Fauna. Um, of course, um, Raymond and Marshall are popular. Oh, Judy's really cute too, but this is such a cute print and I already had some personalized stickers there. But for now, this is going to be a large inclusion binder until I make up my mind. So I'm not like huge on collecting every single inclusion. These are just the ones I happen to get my hands on. I'm always open to adding more to the inclusion collection. not completely in order. I just kind of like stuck everything together in a rush. These are freebie cards. So for those photo cards that did not really fit in the sewn in pocket that well, I may just transfer them over here so it doesn't damage the other cards. That's it. These are my red velvet Irene binders as of today.